most insane celebrity mansions. We're about to take a little peek into the lifestyles of the rich and famous, a walk that is bound to breed jealousy and maybe even a little resentment. Don't be too angry though. These people worked hard for what they have. The celebrities on this list just played the game a little bit better than we did, thus why they have the things they have today. That's not to say that some of these houses aren't a bit over the top, they are, but that's the choices of the ones doling out the money, isn't it? Enough talk, here we go. This is the most insane celebrity mansions. Number 11, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher. Back in mid-2017, almost exactly one year ago, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher bought a beachfront property in Carpintiera, California, and it is indeed beautiful. The home is 3,100 square feet and is found not far from Santa Barbara and sits at the end of a long fenced-in drive. This six-bedroom, six-bath house is very fitting for the couple's growing family and is definitely large enough to fit them and any guests that may stop in for a nice visit or stay. The interior totally has the vibe of what you'd expect from a beach house and we guess it's really fitting considering they're literally on the beach and just steps from the ocean. Some of the features include a large patio, an impressive fireplace, a breakfast nook, vaulted ceilings, and and a hot tub. Pair it all with the contemporary architecture and you've got one fantastic house. Number 10, Matthew McConaughey. Mr. Matthew McConaughey and his wife Camilla Alves live in none other than Austin, Texas. Well, kind of. Where they live is like a cross between a dream and a real place, real up close and personal with Lake Austin in the Rivercrest area. McConaughey, Alves, and their three children call a Spanish Mediterranean inspired mansion home, and it sure is fantastic. The home boasts over 10,000 square feet and has seven bedrooms and eight bathrooms, which is quite a lot of space for the family of five. It also has an elevator inside, a long drive set behind gates with two circular motor courts, a large garage, marble counters, beautiful woodwork, and a spiral staircase, not to mention amazing landscaping, land, views, and picturesque communal rooms for all of their family time. Number 9. Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel This powerhouse duo purchased a duplex penthouse in New York City just last year, and yes, it's incredible. We can only find pictures of the building they live in and the amenities, but you could surely get a feel for how they must be living in style. They purchased the home for over $20 million in Manhattan's Tribeca neighborhood, and it sits inside an old converted factory. The condo is 5,375 square feet and includes four bedrooms, four full bathrooms, and two half baths, a combo dining, kitchen, and living area, much like a studio, but bigger. There are giant windows and a top-of-the-line kitchen, an indoor pool, a private terrace, and some really awesome neighbors such as Jennifer Lawrence, Ryan Reynolds, Harry Styles, and Jake Gyllenhaal. This is just one of the multiple properties the couple own and can call home. It looks beautiful. Wish we could see inside. Number 8. Will and Jada Who would expect Will and Jada Smith to live in anything less than a palace? Their house in Calabasas is basically just that, a palace, and the great home and property took a whole seven years to finish. It cost the Smiths $42 million, which is probably pocket change, and is far enough away from the stresses of Hollywood for some peace and quiet, but not so far that they can't get their work done. The home boasts nine bedrooms, a home theater, a recording studio, a pool room, a meditation lounge, and some gorgeous decoration and architecture. That's just the inside. Outside, there's a volleyball court, a tennis court, basketball court, a big old pool, and a built-in trampoline. The home is made up of an incredible 25,000 square feet and sits on 150 acres, which begs the question, how? Just how? Number seven, Jerry Seinfeld. A few years back, InStyle did a piece about Jerry and his family's home in the Hamptons, and it was called Laid Back. This place hardly seems laid back to us. Seinfeld purchased the beach home from Billy Joel for $32 million, and then they proceeded to make it their own. The decoration is not over the top as many stars' houses are, so we guess that may be where the laid back comes from. But it's still huge and beautiful, and we would love to raise our children somewhere like this. We couldn't find an exact square footage on this place, although it surely doesn't look small. But we did find that it sits on 12 acres. Number 6. Tiger Woods The world-famous golfer owns a house on Jupiter Island in Florida that will basically knock your socks off. He purchased it back in 2006 with his then-wife, Ellen Nordgren, for $40 million, which seems pretty good for the 12 acres and the 9,000 square foot house they got. Not to mention, the property is beachfront and offers some spectacular, stunning views. Tiger had the house that was already on the property torn down and built a new one, complete with an oxygen therapy room, a fitness center, 
center, multiple swimming pools, a gym, media room, wine cellar, tennis court, and an elevator. He also added a practice facility for his golf game outside with four greens, six bunkers, a putting studio, and a video center. How can someone afford luxury like this? Well, they get rich and famous, like Tiger's neighbors, Greg Norman, Celine Dion, and Bill Gates. It's like an island for the elite. We wonder what his neighbors thought about his antics just as the house was being finished years ago. He probably had to bring lots of cookies to lots of doors of lots of posh, prissy people to win them over again. Number five, Rihanna. Back in 2016, Rihanna purchased a condo in St. James Barbados, and it looks spectacular. First off, the building in which her condo is located, one Sandy Lane estate, is beautiful. Then you break it down and take Rihanna's portion and it just looks, well, also beautiful. She purchased the condo for roughly $19 million, which bought her five bedrooms, five bathrooms, as well as three partial bathrooms, an incredible kitchen, glorious living spaces, and access to all sorts of amenities that us muggles will never have. The staff at One Sandy Lane specializes in taking care of their occupants in every way, including cooking and waiting on the habitants hand and foot. There are amazing common areas, lounges, patios, a spa, a pool, a tennis court, and access to an incredible beach. Of course, Riri would want to spend the money on a place here. Just look at those views. She's living the life that most of us would love to have. She's waited on hand and foot and gets to relax and unwind in paradise while doing so. Number four, Kim and Kanye. For two over-the-top celebrities, an over-the-top house seems quite fitting, doesn't it? The couple purchased their Hidden Hills mansion back in 2014 and have since renovated the heck out of it so that they and their children can have a place to live that can feel like home. The property cost them $20 million, which for them is like basically nothing, and it consists of 15,667 square feet of space, with eight bedrooms, multiple swimming pools, two spas, a vineyard, a sauna, and much more much more. They've been pretty private and secretive about what their renovations added, but hopefully it helped to add a lot considering the contractor bills ended up around $20 million in themselves. West did post some photos from inside the home back in April on Twitter, so maybe we'll get to see more to come if they open their doors to the crew of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, but as of right now, that's a no-go, so we'll just have to wait and see. Number three, John Travolta. Now, by looking at the picture, you may gather that John Travolta is a bit of an aviation enthusiast and pilot. You may have known this before you saw the picture. We mean he has been in the public eye long enough for us to know everything about him. Him and his wife, Kelly Preston, live in the Jumbo Lair Aviation Estates, which is literally a residential air park. So he's not the only flight enthusiast in the area. The house has two runways for his five aircraft to take off and land on, as well as any other friends' planes to land on when they come to visit. The house also features a 16-car garage for his many vehicles, but probably the most prominent vehicle on the property is the Qantas Boeing 707 that he keeps parked in the front yard. The inside of the house is decorated with more airplane memorabilia and art and gives one an overall sense of adventure. Number two, Tom Brady and his lady. Brady and Giselle are two beautiful people, so it's no surprise that they live in a beautiful house with their beautiful children. In fact, they live in a mansion in Massachusetts that has lots of land, probably for Brady to practice his incredibly accurate throws. And the house itself is pretty amazing. The 14,317 square foot home was custom designed and built for a mere $4.5 million and features five bedrooms, a top of the line kitchen for their chef to work in, an incredible office in a barn in which Giselle does her work, a library in said office slash barn, a massage room and spa, a film room for Brady to study opponents, and a yard that would make anyone jealous. In fact, the lot the family owns spans 5.2 acres and sits in the Brookline Country Club, which is the oldest golf club in the entire country. This family gets to live in style, and it's no surprise. We mean, it's Tom Brady and a Spice Girl. Of course, they're going to live their lives in absolute luxury, if only. Number one, Oprah. Oprah has more money than she could ever spend, so why wouldn't she have an extremely, extremely extravagant and beautiful house? She owns many properties, but it's her house in Montecito, California that really holds the shock factor. The property is often referred to as the promised land, and it is here that she spends most of her downtime. She bought the 42-acre property back in 2001 for $50 million, which seems like a fantastic deal considering it's now worth between $88 and $90 million. She then bought another 23.26 acres adjacent to her land in 2016 for another $30 million, and that property includes a ranch house, 
horse stables, a pool, a caretaker's cabin, equestrian ring, and some fruit orchards. Oprah's home itself is a 23,000 square foot Neo-Georgian style mansion with a whopping 14 bathrooms, six bedrooms, a library, a theater, an incredible kitchen, and so much more. She also has a tea house in her garden and a koi pond on the newer property she purchased. The architecture and decorating in her main home is exquisite, and the contents themselves obviously cost more money than most of us will ever make ever. Oprah is queen, thus she lives like one, and she deserves it as she's worked her butt off for every cent she has. We're still jealous, Oprah. Eternally jealous. <laughs>